Hey, MVPs, just a heads up. Rico knows here. I'm going to be making the main event free, so I will not be showing the chart. The chart will be posted on the Discord server. It will be posted on the Patreon homepage. And the final chart has every single pick, prop, parlay, every prediction. If you want to see what I did for this fight card, it's pretty amazing. I make a pick for every single fight. I do analysis on every single fight, every matchup. And last week, we went 11-0. and We didn't miss a single fight. This week, it's obviously much harder. The card is pretty even. There's a lot of good fighters, up-and-coming new fighters against older fighters, and it's kind of hard to tell. Is there going to be a change in the guard? Is there going to be a bunch of wins, upsets? Who knows what? So I took a stab at it. Yes, we are batting at about 70% money line picks for all the fight cards this year, this calendar year. So now, looking into this main event, you see it, Sugar Shane O'Malley, the champ, going up against Cheeto Vera, Marlon Cheeto Vera. Um, they've already fought before. And it was a competitive fight. And for whatever reason, the referee, and it escapes me which ref it was. It might have been Herb Dean. But the referee called this fight and said it was a knockout. Sugar Shane was doing just fine. Yes, he was on his back. He was defending himself. But he was doing fine. And for whatever reason, they said, oh, he wasn't defending himself intelligently. And they called the fight. If you ask Sean O'Malley, he is undefeated. He's never lost. That was a bullshit loss. It should have never happened. They should have never stopped the fight. He was not out of it. It was Everything was fine. There was 20 seconds left in the round. He was going to be fine. Uh, I believe sometimes, I think, some of these referees got money on the fights. There's, there's no other way around it, man. They're making poor decisions here and there. But in this particular case, they're going to be aware of it. They're going to give these guys a chance to slug it out and fight for themselves. And since that fight, quote-unquote that loss, Sean O'Malley has really cleaned up his game, and he's gotten so much better. And when I say better, I'm watching him. This no contest here was an eye poke, but I'm watching him in the cage. I wasn't impressed with his fight against Peter Young. Pe Pe Peter Young just beat him, bro. Okay, Peter Young beat him. This, this was a robbery of a decision. But this right here, going up against some elite-level wrestlers, elite-level fighters, the, the caliber of fighter that he started fighting is something else. Now, he wasn't doing great against Munoz anyways, but you got to believe in Sean O'Malley right now. You really do. On the flip side, Cheeto Vera, I don't know how he gets this opportunity. I don't know why. What are we doing? Is it scheduling? Is it time frame? What did he do to earn this, this opportunity? Who did he beat that made you go, wow, that guy's next in line for the belt? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Not when you're going to decision against a dude like Pedro Munoz, who's on this prelim card fighting a, an up-and-comer like this is, is this a premier fighter who's he beat go look who's he beat All right Corey Sanhagen you go and lose split decision I'm just not cool with some of these performances beating an over-the-hill dominant Cruz unanimous against font you got to go in there and handle that uh fighting an over the edge you know that this is an impressive fight beating Davy Grant I guess losing to some over-the-hill dudes I'm not even with it bruh Losing to Song Yadong, who's on this prelim card? A dude in the pre or a dude on the main card, but fighting before you has beat you? Like that's crazy. You're you're the main card? One of the guys on the card below you beat you? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm hoping Cheeto Vera does well for himself and his family and doesn't embarrass himself, but I really want Sean O'Malley to win this fight. And when I start cheering for a particular fighter, I have a really hard time picking against them, and that's just fandom. But I tend to cheer for the winner. I tend to get it right. So in this regard, for the main event, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm taking Sean. I'm, taking, I'm taking the champ. I think he's got championship caliber fight underneath his belt. He knows what to do. I think what he did against Aljamain Sterling, Ch Chito Vera could never do. I think matchup-wise, just getting better. You're now 29. You've been at this fight game for a while. You've proven yourself against better fighters. I just like it, man. I'm cool with it. I want Sean O'Malley to, to win this fight and then go lose to Marab. Right? That's that's pretty much what's going to happen. He, I don't think he matches up well with Marab. Rock, paper, scissors. It just doesn't work out. Here, we got two rocks or two scissors. Really, two scissors. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Was that a, was that a, a joke about two girls? No, but I'm just saying. Uh, for me, Sugar Shane, I'm taking him. It, don't overthink it. I don't know if you parlay it with anything. You're going to have to. It's a minus 275. Um, what are the rounds at? Method of victory, sugar shame by points, plus 125. Will it go the distance? They think it will. Um, that's what that means when you see numbers like that. That's what that means. Total rounds, 
four and a half. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't think you can make a lot of money on this fight. That's why I'm giving it away for free. It doesn't matter. How will the fight end? Points is minus 130. You don't even have to pick the right winner. Is it going to go the distance? So you guys see it here. If you think it's going the distance, it's minus 152 to our total rounds. Going the distance, yes. You get you get better money than the total rounds here just by saying it's going to go to points. I'm saying take the points instead of going the over rounds. But you probably want to go the distance. If you're going to be taking points, you might as well just go over here and say it'll go the distance. That's probably your best bang for your buck saying yes it'll go the distance at minus 118 just put some points on that and leave it alone that's probably how i would bet on this fight if i had to bet on it yes i'm taking sean o'malley but will it go the distance i i think so i don't think you can parlay that together but it feels like yes it'll go the distance i like sean o'malley in this fight <clears throat> i like him to win your friends don't know but rico knows if you want more betting strategies and you want to understand how we parlay and prop it all go become an mvp oh by the way if you want to know how to watch these fights, hmm, show up to the Discord server, connect your Patreon app, connect your Patreon account, connect your YouTube account if you're an MVP, and I provide analysis for these fights on the Discord server in one of the voice channels down below. Uh, we, we sit there and we talk about the fights. We tell you what live bets to make. Show up. You'll win a ton of money. Shout out to the MVPs. Your friends don't know, but I do. Peace.